The first thing I did was just test out the servo and nothing else. So I made sure to include my servo library uh, to find the pin, it's the servo object, uh, attach it, and then just do a simple sweep. Then I tested just the button on its own. Here it helps to leverage off of your previous projects because we've already coded a lot of buttons. As always, I follow the guidelines and diagrams provided in the book to give me structure when I'm designing my circuits. After I complete them the way that they are given in the book, then that's when I start to take it into my own hands and create some implementation of my own. After I got each of those components working on their own, I integrated them. Okay, for once in my life, I was really doubting the validity of cardboard for this application. For this design, nothing really went as planned. Almost every idea I had failed, so I instead just went forward with it and got it to work as best as I could and thought of a space where a design like this might exist. Tired of trying to stick your hand into spice jars and getting them stuck? Tired of not having enough control over how much spice you put in your dish? Well, we have the solution for you. Servo Spices. Simply fill the jar with your favorite spice and then attach it to our smart sensing dispensing technology mechanism. After you try Servo Spices just once, it'll replace what used to be your best appliances on the countertop. Plus, it's made of 100% recycled materials like old salsa jars and solo cups. The perfect gift for your eco-conscious friend. Call today and get your servo spices while supplies last. There's only so much recycled material we can find to make these.